Hello, my name is Dr. Zhvurka. I'm a fertility specialist at the Immunology and Reproduction Center. Today, I will be discussing an important topic called male infertility. It is a fairly common problem. Males are found to be solely responsible for 20-30% of infertility cases. When discussing infertility in a married couple as a rule, there is a sudden decrease in fertility in both partners. Certainly, in some cases, there can be a specific problem present in either the man or the woman, the resolution of which leads to a successful pregnancy. Nonetheless, in most cases, both partners contribute to this difficulty. This is where Professor Mish Steinbringer's concept of fertility potential can be applied. The essence of the concept is that there is a certain fertility potential for both men and women that ranges from 0 to 100%. According to Professor Steinberg's research, if the fertility potential of both partners is 100%, then pregnancy occurs on average during the first two menstrual cycles. If factors that decrease fertility potential are present, even in one partner, it leads to a delay in conception or even infertility. So what factors decrease male fertility? Well, these factors can be divided into three groups. The first group includes modifiable lifestyle behaviors such as smoking, an unhealthy diet, obesity, exposure to toxic substances and high temperatures. Spermatogenesis, the process by which sperm production occurs, is a temperature-dependent process. Normal testicular temperature is several degrees lower than body temperature and thus, all factors that can increase intertesticular temperature may affect this process in male fertility. The second group consists of non-modifiable factors. These include environmental factors, aging and genetics. The third group includes all diseases that may affect spermatogenesis. Examples of medical conditions that can contribute to male infertility include varicose cell, hormonal disorders, metabolic disorders, altered metabolism of iron, disorders of hypothalamic pituitary axis, diseases of the thyroid and adrenal glands, autoimmune disease, celiac disease, the formation of anti-sperm antibodies, inflammation and infection of accessory glands. So a question now arises, how can we increase fertility potential to 100%? To answer that question, we must understand what factors lead to a decline in fertility potential. We need to find out what causes the decrease in fertility. Therefore, a thorough medical examination of both partners is required sometimes with other specialists, such as geneticists and endocrinologists. One of the most important basic tests to diagnose male infertility is a spermogram, which is a standard semen analysis. It gives us important information and allows us to evaluate a patient's fertility potential. However, even if the results of semen analysis are normal, it does not completely rule out the possibility of male infertility. Unfortunately, to date, no single medical test could precisely assess your fertility potential. Therefore, Evaluating fertility based on a single test is not advisable. It is necessary to carefully look at the patient's history, examine them, and investigate all factors that may lead to reduced fertility. First, we want to rule out any immunological causes of male infertility. So we perform a mixed anti-globulin reaction test, or MART test, which makes sure there are no anti-sperm antibodies in the semen that can prevent conception from taking place. In addition to that, we have to test if there is DNA damage in sperm because that may lead to pregnancy loss after egg fertilization. So we can perform several tests. The most common ones are tunnel, SCD and SCSA. Sometimes male infertility could result from chromosome imbalance. A karyotype test is performed to examine your chromosomes and rule this out. In males with infertility, it is also important to test hormone levels because hormones tell us about the state of the reproductive system and may also influence treatment strategy. Before doing fertility evaluations and planning a pregnancy, it is important to get tests for sexually transmitted diseases. These are not all the tests that a fertility specialist could recommend. Many other tests might be necessary to do based on the patient. The main goal of these tests is to identify factors that reduce fertility. Moreover, our main task is identifying and eliminating abnormalities because this is the only way to increase fertility and achieve pregnancy. For more information and help, you can contact us via email, WhatsApp or Telegram. We wish you good health and reproductive success. Mm -hmm.